Wow. wow. <laughs> it's day four of Nam. <laughs> Pete and I are still alive. Barely. 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 Uh, but we thought we'd start the day with some neon pinks and yellow, you know, just... Sparkly, beautiful, just shiny bits. Wake us up. So we're on the only ball stand with AJ. What's AJ stand for? Andrew James. Of course it does. That's a good name as well, um, Andrew James. So let's take a look at some new, we're, we're looking at a mix here of uh, Music Man, US stuff, and a little later in the video we'll get around to the Sterling stuff and a super cool new pedal thing. So, right, what you got? Here we've got our new short scale Stingray. Oh. Completely passive, so no uh, battery compartment there. Very lightweight, thanks to some of the things we did with the Stingray Special last year. Uh, you've got some interesting controls on this. Uh, you've got a neodymium pickup controlled here with this volume, and you've got a boost Ooh, also, boost. passive boost. boost. It's passive then. Well, when it's in the boost mode, that's like the normal mode. When it's in the uh, ah. down, it's a cut. It's a neodymium pickup, so it's got all kinds of output. You've also got a three-way rotary switch here, which allows you to do uh, parallel, single coil, and series mode. So you've got the standard Stingray sound, kind of a Sterling sound, yeah. and a single coil sound. It's always better in a three-way. It is. It is. Is, uh, that's these, really cool. We've seen a lot of these smaller yeah, scale short bases scale, this but year. Like not kid stuff, but we've seen like more of them this year, haven't we? Exactly. Is, uh, There's a lot a of them thing. at the show, I think. Well, that's cool. I like the color. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, it's not as cool as that one. Oh, and the Bungo. Or, yeah, Bungo 6. So I love these. A, I love these things. A couple new colors for the Bungos. We've got the Fuchsia Sparkle here. Fuchsia Sparkle. And we've got an uh, Aqua Sparkle behind you right here. Oh, we'll get to that one in a minute. Wow. Actually, look like my eyes did this morning when I woke up. <laughs> uh, got some new colors on the Sterling bases also. So you've got this cool scarlet red here, and we're doing roasted necks on the Sterlings this year also, which is that's different. amazing. Where are we going next? What's new? Let's see here. Let's check out the other new color for the Sterling. We've got a vintage blue pearl. Oh, that's lovely. Once again, roasted necks available in four and five string, one hum and two humbucker. Boom. Here's our other new color for the bongos, the aqua sparkle. <laughs> it's just my favorite bass. I think it's so cool. I like the fact that the, the neck and the eye oh, is all the same color. Yeah. Yes, it matches. Matching headstock. <laughs> I'm, matching I'm, head. I'm, I'm struggling to come up with. Uh, anyway, <laughs> come on, Anderton. Be Bring professional. Push through. We've got some new colors on the uh, modern classic guitars, the Cutlass and Stingray guitar. So right behind you here, we've got a charcoal sparkle. Oh, that is gorgeous. How do you get the How do you get the depth of sparkle on that? It's got a real three. Is that like um, is that like a sprinkled on thing or a sprayed thing? Or? It's it's sprayed. There's different uh, sizes of flake though, so that helps give it some depth. Yeah, it looks amazing that one. Genuine excitement that yeah, was. The, Next always looks amazing. And along with that, Flame we've got next. the dropped copper. It's another finish that we introduced last year on the Stingray Specials. Yeah. It's very popular and translates really well to these guitars. It's got the same depth of sparkle, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's nice. not just a flat finish. Yeah. And finally, we've got aged buttercream as the aged the other buttercream. Aged buttercream. A little it's... bit understated compared to the other finishes. But it yeah, still but... looks very classic and cool, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It's a robot roasted ma maple neck. Nice little. I mean, I like that nice little detail. <laughs> <laughs> Someone is struggling. Now our big push this year are the new Majesties, and this is kind of the deluxe version. It's the Tiger Eye, so it's got a different bodywood combination than we've used in the past for the Majesties. It's got a, a complete top on it, maple top, half inch, very figured. And the neck oh. is going to be a three-piece neck. In the middle of it's a highly figured piece of maple. We've got Honduran mahogany on the sides. And then there's uh, the wings are alder, and that's covered up by the maple and the, oh. the opaque finish on the it's back. It's a lot of wood in one guitar. Yeah, it's a, it's a <laughs> cocktail of wood. It's a like cocktail of wood. I get it. I We've get it. We've got the new uh, DiMarzio pickups in this, the Dreamcatcher and the Rainmaker. The John Good Deuce names. signature guitars. And these guitars all come equipped with the piezo pickups, the 20 dB gain boost, and the coil split options. So, cool. cool man. So available in six and seven string. We've got some other new colors also. This is Enchanted Forest on these translucent. <laughs> enchanted oh, Forest. Oh, enchanted. enchanted Forest. So these ones Ooh. have a little bit, a uh, little different combination <laughs> of bodywoods. 
You've got a smaller maple cap here in the shape of the shield. Oh, yeah. And you've got African mahogany on the sides, Honduran mahogany in the middle for the neck. Very exotic. Yeah. Very exotic. And there's a few different finishes of this. There's the dark roast here. Kind of a nice classic brown. I like a dark roast. Got red sunrise. Oh. Almost kind of a cherry oh, burst cool. type look. Yeah. And finally, blue hanu. Blue hanu. Blue hanu. Blue hanu. <laughs> hanu hanu. Hanu hanu. It sounds like a Danish or Swedish. Uh, it sounds like from Mork and Mindy. Yeah. They used to, hanu, hanu. Remember, am, I, am I the only one old enough to remember that one? No, Mork and Mindy. I recall that. Okay. Cool. <laughs> from another life. <laughs> Uh, we've got a couple of opaque finishes also. This is kinetic blue. It's kind of a color shift. So it goes from kind of a blue to a purple. All right, yeah. And the body woods in the opaques are different also. Uh, this will be ma uh, Honduran mahogany neck through with basswood sides. It's a lot of different woods to put into one gu uh, guitar type. Yeah, you know? they, they all yield different sounds. Yeah. You know, like the, uh, the tiger eye is going to be a lot more articulate with a, a real heavy hitting low end. Um, the, the basswood has got a little bit more of a scoop mid type sound. This is the Stealth Black, which has been a, a very popular color for yeah. us over the years. Introduced it back in uh, 07, I believe. It's a killer for fingerprints, isn't it? The Stealth Black. Absolutely. It's a magnet for fingerprints. It's a mag magnesty. That's going to make sense. <laughs> <laughs> magnesty. What else? Uh, here we've got those same new colors, uh, just on a different guitar on the Cutlass. Translates a little bit different with the pickups, not having chrome covers. Once again, charcoal sparkling. Look here. at the neck. But yeah, uh, these, these all have figured maple necks, roasted maple. Wow, pretty. So some will be flame, some will be bird's eye. Rosewood fingerboards. Rosewood fingerboard on uh, yeah. on the charcoal sparkle and on the drop copper. The aged buttercream is going to have uh, a maple. So black nice. covers on this kind of sets it yeah. off also. And finally, for the last of the new, we've got the buttercream cutlass. Very so classic. This one's got the flame. Very classic, yeah, that's good. So available with uh, HSS or SSS, like I'm holding here. Very classic looking, that one. But we likey likey. Anyway, Absolutely. let's head on over that way and look so, at uh, the pedal tuner thing. It's, uh, you might you might have to sneak in here because these don't come off the uh, they don't come off the stand. So whose crazy idea was it to build a volume pedal with a tuner built in? Well, that was Brian Ball's idea, and it uh, you know frees up a lot of pedal space on your guitar. Uh, you're able to to have a tuner going at all times. There's actually a touch screen feature on it, so you can you can go between tuner and the, the audio output, or have a combination of both. It's available in four different colors also. Is there a flaw in this design slightly, or are we cool that most people won't need to have their foot on the volume pedal and tune at the same time? Generally, when I'm tuning, my foot's not on the volume pedal, so no, I can't you, speak for everyone. Look, you would turn it down, take your foot off, and then when you when you turn it down, tuner comes on, and then you're you know, and then when you put your foot back on, you turn it up again. There are and options. The volume. Yeah. I get it. I get it. Well, you that's kind of cool, isn't it? I mean, options, least, you know? at least it's different. I quite like, you know, I mean, visually it looks super, super cool. It does look super, super cool. Yeah, but you would do that and then you just go, that's my tuner. That's brilliant. But this, you know, Pete's you can't favorite see product of the show, you, isn't it? You can't see where you are when you turn up, of course. But, it's but fine. That's, you know, but I think it's brilliant. I think it's cool. AJ's gone. Yeah, thanks, AJ. Cheers, ma'am. Uh, so we now have Josh, who is a Sterling expert. So yeah, Sterling's right. kind of the... Um, well, it's the import line. The yes. Import line for Ernie Ball Music, man. Um, Yep, so the stuff that's made in the, in the Far East rather than America. So, uh, but we sell loads of this stuff. It's very, very popular. Uh, but what is new for 2019? Absolutely. So uh, our big new release is the Majesty 7 string that we've got right over here. Uh, it's available in Arctic Dream for the 170. And then we have the 170X available in Purple Metallic and Pearl White. Uh, as you can see, this is something that we've been working on for a long time. Customers have been requesting for years. Really happy to finally be able to introduce that into our line. Uh, also have the brand new 100X, which is the six string version in the purple metallic or pearl white. 
Um, right. Some other big new releases that we've got this year uh, include our Flame Maple Teal JP150 and 157 models. Uh, beautiful Flame Maple veneer top on that with a 12 dB push push volume pot to give it that extra boost. Um, our brand new JP160 with the double locking trim into Luca Lake Blue. Blueberry Burst Luke, and something that we've got a lot of traffic over is our brand new Poplar Burl veneer top, uh, trans black satin stingray base. As you can see, it comes with a clear pickguard to beautifully showcase that uh, that wood grain finish in a Poplar Burl top. Something we're really excited about moving a lot of this year. Um, our brand new Stingray bases. This is something that we've had in the line for years with the black and natural bases. This year we're offering them with roasted maple necks throughout our entire Ray 34 and 35 line. So really digging on that. Uh, yeah, there you go, favorite yeah, color this combination. Looks, this, yeah, this is a great one, the Toluca Lake Blue uh, Stingray Classic. Something that fits that price point in between our sub-series Ray 4 and our Ray 34 line. So that's a brand new one that we're really excited about introducing this year. Uh, dual humbucker configuration in our Stingray base is something we're releasing for the first time ever. Uh, comes available in stealth black and pearl white. Really happy to be introducing that to provide the widest sonic range we've ever had in the Sterling by Music Man line. Uh, and also uh, Quilted Maple Island Burst Finish, something brand new in our Ray 34 QM line, previously available in Neptune Blue, which is still available as well. Uh, then going over here, we've got our Valentine with the trim, first time we're releasing that, and St. Vincent with dual humbuckers. These two are some of our most popular movers since their introduction into the line a few years ago. Uh, really happy to give some new configurations with those, available in that Toluca Lake Blue finish, also in Daphne Blue and Fiesta Red. Uh, and lastly, something brand new from our sub-series line, we've had our Cutlass and Stingray were, were discontinued from the line a few years ago so that we could re-engineer them to be part of our entry-level sub-series line. So really happy to be uh, introducing those as well. I have our HSS Cutlass available in Stealth Black and um, Vintage Cream. And then we also have an SSS model version of that one available in Charcoal Frost and Daphne Blue. And lastly, we have the Stingray uh, guitar. This one's a beautiful dual humbucker configuration, six string model, available in stealth black. Well, I think you did all that without even breathing. That was just like, that was like unbelievable. <laughs> for yeah. four days. Yeah. That's the first time neither you, he, he and me have said I've anything in that long That's very time. cool. Thank you very much for yeah, showing us through those. Good luck with everything. Thanks, awesome. man. Thanks a lot, guys. That's the end of the Ernie Ball one. Uh, I can feel the flight home just a little bit closer now. But Coming closer. There's a few more videos, so subscribe, please like, and stay tuned. tuned.